Back in 2003, Southern New Hampshire University had 2,800 students, and now they have over 150,000. And 150,000 students can't be wrong, right? Or is SNHU just another big box online university with watery degrees and cheap tuition? Are they the Walmart of online education? Or worse yet, the Kmart? Well, today we're gonna find out. We're gonna give them letter grades in four categories, transfer friendliness, cost, choice of degrees and student experience. We're gonna average it out into a GPA and see how they do. The goal for a good hackable college is going to be a 3.0 out of four. By the way, if you're interested in SNHU, sign up at the link in the description for a consultation with me and I'll help you save time and money on your degree so that you can graduate quickly and build the career that you love. On average, I save my clients $30,000, $40,000 and two to three years of time in just a 45 minute session. SNHU's transfer friendliness is good. They accept many things, many, many things. Do you have CLEP exams? Maybe some DSST exams. Are you wanting to do SOFIA courses, straighter line courses? Southern New Hampshire University accepts many of all of those. And they accept a lot of transfer credit from other colleges. I'm not saying that they'll accept everything or that they'll accept it exactly how you want them to, but they do accept a lot. Plus, they have a super robust like life experience degree credit plan program where you can get college credit for trainings, for experience, work experience, for certifications, so many different things that you, you just get credit for. Basically allowing you to turn your work experience into college credit super easily. And like most online colleges, SNHU only requires that you do a minimum of 30 credits of your degree through their courses. So that means you can hack with CLEP, SOFIA, DSST, everything else, up to 75% of the degree. And for all of those very excellent reasons, SNHU gets a robust A for transfer friendliness. Now let's talk cost. SNHU is literally the cheapest per credit hour cost I have ever seen. Of course, you can go to dirt-free community colleges, or maybe if you're an in-state student at an already really cheap school, you could maybe do a little bit cheaper than that. But for everybody, from no matter where they're at, SNHU charges $320 for undergraduate credit hours. That's only about $38,000 in tuition total, which is like $13,000 cheaper than what the average online bachelor's degree costs. And you might ask yourself, wow, how is that possible? And I'll tell you the answer is that they only pay their faculty $2,200 per online course. So for that reason, SNHU gets an A in cost. When we assess degree options at a school, we're looking for two things, variety and flexibility. For Variety, SNHU has over 110 different bachelor's degrees and bachelor's degree specializations to choose from, and they really do have a little bit of everything. They've got accounting, art, business, criminal justice, education, engineering, health, liberal arts, math and science, psychology, social science, technology, and within all of these, there's a lot of subcategories, and they do a really good job of being able to serve almost every single student out there. And these degrees are pretty flexible too. I mean, you'll notice with this bachelor's of business degree, you've got 42 credits in general education, which means that's a lot of space that's pretty hackable. They've got 30 credits in a business core, 15 credits in a specialization, and then the rest, 33 credits in free electives. And a lot of the degrees at SNHU are very similar in the proportions there. So there's a lot of flexibility and a lot of ability to hack. And if the word hack sounds weird to you and you don't know what I mean by that, definitely check out this video and it'll explain how exactly we save time and money on college degrees. It's completely ethical, I promise. Hack is just like a fun way of saying it. And beyond this, SNHU also has a very hackable degree, a general studies degree with 63 credits of free electives, which means that especially if you're coming with a ton of transfer credits, this would be a really good degree to consider. And so unsurprisingly, SNHU for degree choices gets an A. Finally, we've got student experience. Sure, SNHU is, is fast, has a lot of choices, they're inexpensive, but what do their students think about them? Let's talk SNHU quality. So first off, SNHU has a 93.5% acceptance rate, which means you're not likely to get rejected, but they only have a 39% graduation rate, which in terms of online schools is maybe slightly better than average, but in terms of schools in general, not that great. Second, SNHU is regionally accredited, which means that their degrees are just as legit or official as anybody else's. 
Third, SNHU has a 24 to 1 student to faculty ratio, which is maybe slightly better than average for online schools. Finally, if you look at online reviews from students on Grad Reports, Niche.com, and online degree reviews, SNHU averages a 7 out of 10. Most of these complaints fall into three categories. Having a bad experience with financial aid, being made to do courses that the students feel like are irrelevant to their degree, or not liking the way that SNHU teaches courses. And from what I can see, that last one seems to be the make or break issue for people going to SNHU. And it's because SNHU op operates on what's called an asynchronous learning model. Essentially, their courses are pre-made and then copied out every semester. The faculty don't really contact the students all that much. They might post announcements or grade things or answer questions, but you're not really going to hear from them otherwise because your experience at SNHU is going to be just doing the reading, watching the videos, doing the homework. Start the next week, do the same thing over and over again for as many weeks as the semester lasts, and then you finish the course. There's not a whole lot of human interaction. And honestly, this is pretty common for online schools these days, so if you like independent learning and going at your own pace like this, this could be a really good fit for you. But if you're looking for interpersonal interaction, meaningful relationships with you know classmates or professors, you know good conversations, lectures, discussions, eh, SNHU is probably not a good choice. For all of that, SNHU's student experience is pretty average, and because they don't really stand out in too many ways, it's kind of an average experience or slightly below in some categories, we're going to give them a C for student experience. SNHU's official College Hack GPA is a beautiful 3.5 out of 4. That makes them an excellent college for college hackers, and if you like some of the things that you've been hearing me say, they might be the right school for you. Streamlined process, plenty of degrees to choose from, insanely low cost. There's a lot good here. And if you want help putting together an SNHU degree or you want to find out whether this college is right for you, go ahead and hit the link in the description down below to set up a consultation for me. We'll help you save time and money so you can build a career you love. Thanks for watching and happy hacking.